Hey guys, wanted to make this video about where do I get my whole food vegan protein sources. Um, hopefully the lighting in this movie is a little bit better than the one I made um, yesterday. Hopefully it's not too obnoxiously bright. But um, so put very simply, let's let's just start at it here. Um, beans, right? I don't as a whole pay attention to my protein sources. I don't really pay attention to any macronutrient in particular. I just make sure that I eat enough to until I'm satisfied and I kind of let all the macronutrients sort themselves out. But uh, beans are very high in protein. Um, chronometer puts beans at 20% of the calories are coming from protein. These, this brand, the Wegmans brand, and if you don't know what Wegmans is, Wegmans is a um, chain of grocery stores in the Northeast. I highly recommend checking them out. Um, these kidney beans are 32% protein. So there's quite a difference there, but still um, pretty significant amount of calories coming from protein. And the criteria, before I go further, the criteria that I have, um, the reason why I'm presenting these foods to you is because they eat these foods, I eat them regularly, and they have over 10% of their calories coming from protein. In my opinion, that's significant. When we're talking about 80-10-10, where approximately 10% of your uh, calories should be coming from protein, anything more than that, uh, you know, anything more than that is significant. So the second food that I want to highlight is oats. All right, so these are rolled oats. You can get the steel cut oats, and you can also get the instant oats, although I would recommend the old fashioned rolled oats or the steel cut oats. Um, so these oats are 13% protein. Uh, didn't really look them, didn't really bother to look them up on chronometer because of the nutrition facts are on the back, but really, really love oats. I eat them many, multiple times a day. And oats are also great. They have 10% of your daily need of iron. And I'll get into iron a little bit later in another video. Um, the third food is broccoli. Now, surprisingly, you wouldn't think that broccoli would be very high in protein, but um, chronometer puts it at 16% of the calories are coming from protein. So that's pretty significant. Um, very green, great food. It's a super food, super food. And the fourth one that I want to highlight is peanut butter. Um, you know, peanut butter is much higher in fat than a lot of other whole plant foods, so that's why I keep it in moderation. Um, I eat it occasionally, a couple tablespoons a day, and uh, this Wegmans brand is 16%. So 16% of the calories are coming from protein. And that's about it. Um, those are my significant protein sources. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what your significant protein sources are on a whole foods, plant-based diet. Um, and just to keep in mind too, I guess three out of four of these, you know, with the exception of the peanut butter, um, they also have in common, they have very high fiber levels. So not only are you getting your protein, but you're getting your fiber, um, which is also very good for your health. So thank you for watching, and I'll be posting more of these videos soon having to do with my carbohydrate sources and my fat sources. Thanks so much.